Hey makers and welcome to another project. Now I've been working on this kind of sad, lonely project for a while and in this project I need to output voices. So I thought about why don't I show you how to use the Arduino to actually emit sounds using a speaker and in the next video I'm gonna show you the uh, dark side of my life on the lonely. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you'll find it helpful and if you did put a thumbs up and actually wait for the next video because it's gonna be so shit. Let's define sound. Sound is a pressure wave which is created by vibrating objects. All sounds come from the vibrating of particles. For example, when a human speaks, the tongue moves and the vocal cords vibrate. That vibration will travel into the air and get to our ears, then the brain will process the waves and recognize the sound. Now let's talk about microcontrollers. They don't have vocal cords and they don't have a mouth but we can emulate that. In the case of the mouth, we can use a speaker. And in the case of vocal cords, we can use DAC, known for digital to analog converter. But wait a second, the Arduino does not have a DAC. But more importantly, what's the DAC anyway? To make it super simple, microcontrollers are digital devices. They only understand zeros and ones. So, to process a sine wave, for example, first we need to convert it. And for that, we use ADC, known for analog to digital converter. But now, if we want to output that sine wave, we need to convert it back. For that, we use DAC. Now, let's talk about the Arduino. How are we supposed to emit sound without DAC. Well, we can cheat and use PWM signals, or known for pulse wave modulations, instead of DAC. The results will not be the same, and we will have a limitation on the frequency we can output, and the quality of the voice will not be the same. Now, let's start making our MP3 players and outputting some voices. Let's start with the first circuit. First, we need an Arduino. You can use Arduino Nano or Uno, or even you can use a Mega, but for that case, you need to change some stuff in the code. We need an SD card reader, a speaker, and we need a breadboard, some wires, and lastly, a power source. The SD card reader uses SPI communications, and it's easy to wire up, so for that, hook pin CS to pin number 10, SCK to 13, MOSI to 11, MISO to 12, VCC to 5V and finally GNT to ground. Connect one of the speaker pins to pin number 9 and the other one to GND. Now you can use any pin in the Arduino Nano or Uno that support PWM function. Now open your Arduino IDE and download this library. You will find the project link in the description below. Now to output the sound, let's change our desired mp3 files to WAV file. For that we use online converter and we change some parameters. Notice that the sound quality will decrease with this setup. In the future I will show you a better way to do it, to output voices. Now upload the file into the SD card, mount the card into the model and power the Arduino. You can use the serial command to cycle through songs, volume up, volume down, and even post them. The sound quality is not good, so let's amplify it a little bit and let's move to the second circuit. Amplifying the sound is basically taking the sound coming from the Arduino and multiplying by a gain to have a louder voice. We can use transistor for that. Use this configuration and you should be able to get a louder sound from your Arduino.
but we can do even better and get louder sound for that we use commercial amplifier modules this is two channel 15 watt audio amplifier with this setup you can get an insanely loud volume but notice that you actually need a strong power supply or this will happen now let's compare the sound volume i'm using an app to calculate the max db we get from each setup as you can tell the difference is huge between the first and the last setup i hope this was helpful and i hope you can subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos peace